Hi, I'm Chef Lillian Elida, also known as the Savannah mm. Chef. Welcome to At Home with the Savannah Chef. Before we go into the segment today, I just want to give you guys a quick recap of what has been happening the past few years. So the past five years for me have been very challenging. It's a place, it's a phase. We have learned to grow, to be patient, has added more wisdom and knowledge to my life. So uh, I turned 30 in October. And five years ago, I was 25, so the whole ordeal started with when my father died, and that was a very traumatic um, phase, or I would say period of my life. That's cha changed everything. We, we went from literally being three people in our family to two, me, me and my mom, and it, it was the first time as a grown person I experienced loss and grief at that close stage and that just made me question a lot of things and I remember at first when I started dealing with the grief and the loss I just didn't want to accept it I wanted things to just go back to normal but so I overworked myself to a place to a point where I burnt myself out and after burning myself out I was like okay I need to change my life like I need to get some kind of rest some kind of um, peace. So I decided to take a few months off from work to not do anything to just see what would come. And unfortunately, then I got attacked at home. A robber came inside my house, uh, stabbed me, choked me, and that changed another whole deal. It was a very traumatic incident. So I had to leave that place that I found, which was good within my budget and financial goals. And I moved to a place which were much more expensive than the first place because it was more secure. Then I was dealing with post-traumatic stress disorder known as PSTD. And then after staying at the new place for about two months, as I was going to my third month, I realized that I could not afford to stay there. Like literally I couldn't afford. So I made the decision to move to our village farm in Rufunsa to a place where we had acquired some land a few years before. So I said, instead of building, I mean, instead of taking the money and investing it in paying someone such a high rental rate, let me do that and then develop the place in Rufunza. So I moved there. I lived there for like two years and that was super, super challenging. Imagine going from having a car, electricity, water, flushable toilets to a pit latrine, fetching water to an unfinished building in the village, no electricity whatsoever. And I think I had been there for a few months, then I realized that, okay, I need to make money because you need money to make money and in the village there's no money. So I decided that I'll be in Lusaka, staying. And so I did. And in the process, I think between then I started a few I started a few projects, Twilight Health. What other things did I start? Oh, Economista again, like Economista Woman Zambia picked up. But then the whole experience of having a certain lifestyle to another lifestyle was very hard. And you know, when you are at your lowest in your life, you really get to learn and find out who people really are. I got to know the people who really loved me in terms of friends, relatives, and everything else. But in all of these things, um, one of the main reasons also to why I chose to move back to the village was so that we could spend that time and money to invest in the family property. So those two years that I was there, I was also, we were also building our family property. And it got finished a few months ago, or not really finished, but it's like 85, 90% done. So um, I moved back to Lusaka a few months ago where our house was, I think about 85, 90% done, as you can see. So basically what I'm going to be doing on this show is I will take you through what I've learned the past few years. We are going to, I'm also going to show you a bit of uh, the real estate development that is happening at home and we're going to cook together. We are also going to look at gardening, interior design and just keeping like, you know, backyard um, livestock, things like chickens and basically just having fun and getting to know each other more and welcoming each other into 2021 with me, Lydian Elida, the Savannah Chef. <laughs>